in northern Green County, just crossing Highway 141. It's a rural area and we're still tracking it. The latest scan of that velocity is still showing a clear area of rotation. If you are watching this morning in Paragould, Arkansas. Take cover now. If you know anyone that lives in Paragould, take cover immediately. Call them and tell them to take cover immediately. We are seeing a little inflow notch uh, just to the southwest of Paragould, not seeing the, 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 the velocity, not as oppressive. Very quickly, while I have you, I want to do a quick reset to talk about the rest of the heartland right now. Uh, we're going to zoom out. We're going to get a quick reset. We're going to stay with you as these storms rumble from west to east. Here's a broad view of the first alert Doppler network. Let's put the current scan on there. You see some light rain falling across parts of southern Illinois. Just uh, it's been an awful night. Just torrential rain, very humid outside. Looks like uh, we have really not a whole lot in the way of rainfall in Kentucky. So quiet conditions, Kentucky down to Tennessee. Still some steady rain falling for Cape Farmington, Greenville, but our area of highest concern right now with a tornado warning in the Missouri boot heel and back toward northeast Arkansas uh, along the leading edge of this bow echo. We get those quick spin ups. This is not the type of storm system that produces supercells. We're not seeing that, but what has occurred overnight is we've seen a southeasterly wind ahead of these storms, and as they move across, we see a southwesterly wind take hold and that turbulence in the air from the ground a little bit higher in the atmosphere. That turbulence that turning sometimes can generate a quick spin up tornado, but the primary threat right now damaging straight line wind on the leading edge of that thunderstorm for Cape Mary and Mount Vernon. Just some rain at times. We're OK right now, but don't let your guard down to our southwest. We're tracking a tornado warning that's in effect until 2 AM. It does include Holcomb. It does include Kennett. We're talking uh, Piggott and Rector, Arkansas. While I had a break just a moment ago, I, I scrolled through the National Weather Service chat. I did see uh, a wind gust in Bay, Arkansas, which is just southeast of Jonesboro. Uh, about 143, about 13 minutes ago, there was a wind gust that registered 63 miles an hour there in Bay, Arkansas. So this is definitely verifying. You see these areas here that are a brighter shade of green and blue on the leading edge of these thunderstorms. That's 60 to 70 mile an hour wind gusts. So again, there is a threat that you could lose your power if you're watching this evening in Mississippi County, Arkansas and extreme eastern Craighead County, Arkansas. So again, Osceola, Blyville, Marie, Joyner, uh, all the way back to Tyronza. You're under a severe thunderstorm warning until 215 AM. Oh, a new tornado, new tornado warning, warning for just, just that down. spot we were showing, Brian. Hardwell, Missouri, take cover now. Yep. It's overhead. Zenith, Hornersville, take cover now. A tornado warning in effect for southern Dunklin County, southwestern Pemiscott County. I would imagine until 215 15 to 2 30 uh, as this uh, possible tornado moves to the east 245 at, at 245. OK, so we are definitely seeing some strong indications of rotation velocity product and it's coming in from the Memphis radar. So this is wind going away from the Memphis radar and this is wind going toward the Memphis radar and you very clearly see that spin that spin right there between Zenith and Hornersville and it's moving off to the east very quickly at 60 miles an hour and this tornado warning is in effect until 245.